<laughs> oh, delicious. All right, all right, all right. So, during a meeting with Iraq's prime minister, President Biden's crib sheet was caught on camera, which included directions to pause. Here's another one that simply said, <laughs> if lost, go to 1600 Pennsylvania Avenue. And then here's another one. <laughs> and another. He works for Iraq, not 7-Eleven. Oh. And also spotted was this other card that said, don't fart, it could be poop. <laughs> anyway, the U.S. Olympic uniform for track athletes apparently has sparked concern over being too revealing. Female athletes have complained that the outfits are so sheer you could see their penises. <laughs> Love it. Traffic citations in San Francisco have nearly plummeted. They credit their revolutionary new speed bumps. <laughs> Senator Elizabeth Warren criticized TurboTax for overcharging taxpayers for simple tax returns. She recommended citizens pay taxes the way she does, with $24 worth of beads and trinkets. <laughs> On this day in 1922, Mark's woman Annie Oakley set a woman's record by shooting 100 clay targets in a row. Coincidentally, also on this day, Annie's husband stopped with a sassy back talk. <laughs> sassy back talk. Like All right. A new survey finds that the most stressful time of the day is 8.15 a.m. You'd be stressed, too, if you got woken up by this. <laughs> so O.J. Simpson is still dead. But his body is set to be cremated, although he denied it in his new book, If I Cremated Myself. <laughs> <laughs> the white Ford Bronco used in his infamous chase may soon be up for sale. The seller says it's rarely been driven except for weekends and after killing people. <laughs> <laughs> the first golden bachelor and his wife have announced they're divorcing. After just three months of marriage, they claim they just want different things. She likes the Metamucil berry flavored fiber supplement. <laughs> he prefers the Miralax laxative powder for gentle constipation relief. <laughs> According to new research, South African women have the largest butts in the world with an average hip size of 41.73 inches. <laughs> <laughs> Needless to say, the research was conducted by an expert. <laughs> All right, to the monologue. So according to legal expert Jonathan Turley, Trump's on trial for allegedly falsifying business records related to payments to porn star Stormy Daniels. Turley added that it's a misdemeanor and the statute of limitations ran out. Somehow, none of that matters in New York City, where guys who randomly punch kids are given a pat on the back and a key to the city. But when it comes to porn star payments, you'd better keep records more detailed than a CVS receipt. <laughs> but first up, what's up with hush money? You're not supposed to talk about sleeping with a porn star? If that were me, I wouldn't shut up about it. <laughs> My friends would be like, yes, we know, Greg. Then Stormy tied you down and spanked you unconscious with a pickleball racket. <laughs> How many times are you going to tell us? Me sleeping with adult film stars, I wouldn't be able to keep it a secret. And neither would they. <laughs> but they should. They should shut up. That's the deal when you charge for sex. You break that time-honored pledge and you soil what is otherwise a noble profession that gave us Matahari. Heidi Fleiss, and Eleanor Roosevelt. <laughs> I might be wrong on that one. Anywho, Trump's not happy. As you know, my son has graduated from high school, and it looks like the judge will not let me go to the graduation of my son, who's worked very, very hard. Uh, he's a great student. He's very proud of the fact that he did so well. And I was looking forward for years to have graduation with his mother and father there, and it looks like the judges are going to allow me to escape this scam. It's a scam trial. I haven't seen him this ticked off since I rejected his offer to be the spokesman for Trump's stakes. 
What can I say? I'm a dedicated vegan. <laughs> Closest I come nowadays to putting meat in my mouth is when I do downward facing dog in my nude yoga class. <laughs> Of course, in their zeal to destroy Trump, Dems are doing him a favor again. For one thing, high school graduations are boring. You sit there for hours in a hot, sweaty auditorium and listen to a bunch of names of strangers' kids just to see 20 seconds when the only important one is getting his diploma. If you're lucky, the kid in the wheelchair might pop a wheelie. What's wrong? And it's not like it's hard to get a high school degree. Everyone has one except Greta Thunberg. <laughs> it's a high school diploma, for Christ's sake. It's like an Adderall prescription. At that age, everyone gets one. Plus, it's just stressful being around all those seniors. How many times can I repeat, call me when you're 18? <laughs> but maybe I'm just resentful, because nobody cared when I graduated from cosmetology school. <laughs> I was class valedictorian and received the Vidal Sassoon Award for outstanding achievement in hair treatment. I came up with the first pubic hair straightener for inmates. It was called Haired Straight. But if Trump wants to go to his son's graduation, he should. Graduations are like losing your virginity. It only happens a few times. And trying to stop him is the biggest favor the Dems can do for him. They'll give him martyr status. He's already like Jesus and that he's the only one who could raise Joe Biden from the dead. <laughs> Just imagine if Trump blows off a day of this dumb trial to watch his son graduate and the cops show up and arrest him. You want bad optics? It'll look worse than the time Jesse wore leggings to sexual harassment training. <laughs> Sure, the libs in every newsroom will cheer. Jon Stewart will joke about it on The Daily Show, or TDS, as I like to call it. <laughs> How did he swing that gig anyway? Like Chris Christie's personal trainer, this guy only works one day a week. <laughs> and those clucking hens on The View will high-five each other so hard, Joy will break both her wrists and have to eat her <laughs> hay and oats bent over a trough. <laughs> but the rest of America, the actual voters, they all got to go to their children's graduations or hope to one day. They'll see the injustice and they will go nuts. So if you're watching President Trump, just go to the graduation. You know, I bet some Brit will steal that line. If you're watching President Trump, just go to the graduation. Every parent in America, mm. whether they like you or hate you, mm. will go, yeah, I'd have done that too. Because this case is utterly ridiculous. Why would you not think that what you're doing here is going to almost guarantee Donald Trump wins the next election? The only thing that could absolutely guarantee it is if he's found guilty and put in a prison cell. Because at that moment, Trump wins by a landslide. Yeah, for once, a Brit is right about something. <laughs> well, it's easy when you're competing with Prince Harry, the Teletubbies, and Mr. Bean. <laughs> but once again, Turley said it best. Everything about this case is, in my view, legally absurd. You know, this case is basically a state misdemeanor that had run out on the statute of limitations. They took a, mis a dead misdemeanor and bootstrapped it into effectively trying a federal crime. But the federal crime here under election law was rejected by the Department of Justice. They didn't feel that this should be charged. He's got great eyebrows. <laughs> Anyway, he's right. It's lawfare. They can't beat Trump politically because so far he's defied all the laws of politics. So they've decided to defy all the laws. Alvin Bragg is like OJ, except slower, fatter, and more alive. <laughs> They're twisting the law like a balloon animal with scoliosis to prevent a second Trump term, and they could very well end up bringing it about. <laughs> On the first day, over half the jurors were nixed after saying they couldn't be impartial. No the city is bluer than a Smurf's balls after sitting on an ice block. <laughs> so it's not within the court that matters where the evidence is key. It's what's outside the courtroom where the pressure to crush Trump matters more. Bottom line, the Dems hate Trump so much that they're willing to destroy the legal system. And now they're on the verge of cementing their own worst nightmare, another Trump term. And this time he'll be older, wiser, and hopefully less horny. Let's welcome! Tonight's guest, her swear jar is an aquarium. 
co-host of Outnumbered Emily Campagno. <laughs> he draws big crowds and sometimes paints them. Writer and comedian Joe DeVito. <laughs> She's like Gene Simmons. She wears tons of makeup and can't sing. New York Times bestselling author and Fox News contributor, Cat Tip. And his doctor uses a surfboard as a tongue depressor. New York Times bestselling author, comedian, and former yes, <laughs> Emily, as a lawyer, I have to ask you this question. That was confusing. You're the lawyer. Um, <laughs> they could have easily changed the venue and not have this problem with the jury, but they chose not to, and the jury is proving the point that this is a contaminated site. How can this go on? Well, and the judge doubled down by saying this is the most thorough questionnaire he's ever seen. And so have no fear, he said, at the end, we will, in fact, impanel an impartial jury. But to your point... It's being proven along the way that there's no amount of people here that can be impartial. I, I argue, because I live here too, not because they're anti-Trump, but because they see the legal absurdity, the absolute that this is. Mm. Any normal person can see this is an absolute travesty. And to add on a postscript to Jonathan Turley's point earlier, not only is the, the federal crime, the statute of limitations has run, but what jurisdiction does a state, a Manhattan DA, have over a federal law it, anyway? Yeah, it makes no sense. I have to say this, too, about the high school graduation. Mm -hmm. He is punishing Barron because the person... Parents, of course, they want to see their kid graduate, of course. That is so important. But it is most important to the student to see your family there in the audience. I've been at a million schedulings, a million hearings, and every judge always, oh, you got a dentist appointment? Okay, tell me, you, you operate based on that, in part to cover your ass at the appellate level. So the fact that he's doubling down and treating him as already convicted, already incarcerated, where you do say, no, I'm sorry, it's your mother's funeral, but nope, I'm not going to grant you leave. He's doing that now? Mm. All of this is setting up, if a conviction happened, heavens for, heaven forbid, it will absolutely be overturned on appeal, no question. Joe, you know, it's interesting. Bill Clinton not only went to Chelsea's graduation during his whole mess, yeah. he spoke at the ceremony <laughs> and then afterwards banged three teachers. <laughs> This is hypocrisy <laughs> at its finest. Yeah, that's, but it is also multitasking at its finest. <laughs> yeah, yeah, right. uh, yes. Uh, well, uh, as a lawyer myself, yes. <laughs> uh, I think Trump's given us the best way to get out of any social obligation mm -hmm. is to just say, I would love to go to that christening, but unfortunately, I've got this trial with a porn star <laughs> is extorting me. She keeps telling everybody we had sex <laughs> with each other. I think all this does is make Trump look like a good dad. You, yes. know, you compare him to, yep. you know, the last uh, Hunter Biden had to go to court to admit he was someone's father. But here's Trump saying, I want to go to my kid's graduation. And you don't mess with Barron Trump. I don't know if you've seen him lately. He's a big boy. He is the Trumpiest child of all time. Yes. <laughs> because, you know, Trump says everything is huge, tremendous. His kid's 11 feet tall. Yeah. So I, I can't wait until the election of, of uh, 2044. Mm -hmm. Because at current growth rate, Barron's going to be about 30 feet tall. Yes. So, I want to see him against uh, Hunter Biden. That's the Trump Biden. Yeah, show. I want my I want my brain soaking in Nevada biochemicals, so I'll be here when Barron Trump is president, <laughs> and I will be behind the scenes pulling all the strings. Cat, what a contrast, right? You can beat the hell out of a woman on the street and get off in, in three hours, but you you know you can't see your kid graduate. Mm. I think I might have smoothed that a little too much, but it's you get the picture. <laughs> Yeah, I think the the really remarkable contrast is kind of what you alluded to, Joe, which is what we're talking about here is in a, the, the the charges here. It's it, it doesn't really. I agree, Emily, with the word that you used. I agree. Uh, it doesn't really hold up the way they try to do this with the misdemeanor, et cetera. But it does stem from these hush payments that because he had sex with a porn star, allegedly, to cover that up, right? And because of what they're doing here, and they're pushing it so far, and if they do not let him go to the graduation, there's a potential here, if he goes anyway, gets arrested, there's a potential here for the headlines about this trial to be coming out to paint him as a true family man. <laughs> and it's just, I feel like they do this. It's, it's even to make him look like a victim in general is hard. I mean, he's very wealthy, he's very successful, his wife is super hot. And they've managed to make a man like that look like a victim, which seems impossible, to take what this was trial is about, what's at the core of this trial, 
and make him the headlines like what dad of the year it's just it's it's the, the things that they keep handing to him it's really truly remarkable to me. yeah and you know the judge says he hasn't decided not to let he, he's not right. decided he can't go right. but trump was wise to just sense that opening and just use it well also i'm not like the president i'm not gonna have some man tell me well i'll think about it yeah kiss my ass i'm going do what you gotta do mm -hmm. uh and i think he'll make bail i'm just guessing <laughs> um <laughs> The funny part to me about this is how they talk about how Trump was paying hush money yeah. and how Trump was. He wasn't doing that. He probably didn't even know about it. That's why you have lawyers. Yeah. That's why. And he had a horrible one in Cohen and Cohen went to jail for this already. Mm -hmm. So it's like they're, they're trying to tell this like he was looking at his bank statement. And he went to cut the check. No, we're not paying her. Like, do make sure she gets in this. Yeah. No, he's he's a businessman who runs empires. Literally, it was probably, oh, we're going to take, don't worry, boss, we're going to take care of it. That's about as far as it went. Mm -hmm. So the person they really should be going after is the lawyers. Yeah, because it's Michael Cohen, who's the Cohen's, witness. Who's the witness, right. Right. which is literally the one who signed the deed, made the papers, made the moves, cut corners, did all himself because he's a lawyer who passed the bar, so you assumed that when he became your lawyer, he had integrity and knew what he was doing. Mm -hmm. So it seems more to me like Trump should be a witness against Cohen. Yes. <laughs> and you know what it is? I said this yesterday on The Five, but I'll say it again. It's like the hospital suing the patient for the doctor's malpractice. Yeah. It makes absolutely no sense. You know, it landed better yesterday. <laughs> <laughs> Click here to subscribe to the Fox News YouTube page to catch our hottest interviews and most compelling analysis. You won't get it anywhere else.